Hi guys, welcome to Roots Online. Yeah. Uh, we're very excited. We are very excited. To see yeah. you. We're not seeing you, but we're not you know what you. I mean. But you're seeing us. You're seeing us. And we want to know that you're watching it, so if you're watching, yeah. write a little comment on the yeah. live chat or in the comments bit. Yeah. Get involved, have a little yeah. chat with us, because we'll be on the comments too. Yeah, we'll be there. And yeah. I want to say, right, Teo, I'm clapping for you, mate. Yeah, well done, Teo. You, every live, I swear, Teo is like, like the hi. first one in, like, yeah. hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Love it. I love it too. Well done, Teo. Well done, Teo. Um, yeah, so today we're going to be talking about the cost. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You, by now, you should know that I've <laughs> always got like a random story to tell. Yeah. So, yeah. do you want to hear my today's random okay, story? Okay, let's hear it. Okay, so, yesterday I was doing a bit of online shopping, right? Yeah. And I needed a screen protector because I was scrolling through my screen the other day and I like literally got a bit of glass in my phone because of oh. the crack in it. Yeah. And I've been putting it off for a while because, you know, having to pay for a screen protector and I'm one of these people that doesn't like paying for delivery so I'll try my hardest to either not do it yeah. or make my order up to like £20 so I don't have to pay for delivery. <laughs> I'm one of them people. So, I was putting it in my basket, like my screen protector, and it was like £5. So I was like, oh, that's reasonable. Yeah. Then it wanted like 4 50 for delivery. Oh. And I was like, nah. I'm not paying 4 50 for delivery. Yeah. I'm not living that life. So I said to mum, do you need anything? And she did. So I put that in my basket as well. And then I was literally 6p, 6p off of delivery, oh. right? So then I'm like looking for random add-on items that I can yeah. put into my basket so I don't have to pay. And this will get biblical in a minute, I promise. <laughs> but for now, so I was looking, then I found like this AirPod case. So I was like thinking, oh, okay, I could buy an AirPod case because mine's pretty grim. But then I looked into it and it was like £2, like it yeah. was proper cheap. But I don't think it was compatible to mine, so I was like, oh, oh. no, I can't do that. Can't so I ended up buying something really random, I can't even remember what it was, but yeah. some random thing, so I got my free delivery. Now, in the grand scheme of things, I literally spent £23 in the end, just to avoid paying <laughs> £9 <laughs> in total. <laughs> so, it's not ideal, but it really did make me think like how we, when we buy something, we like analyze everything, like the pros and cons. Like I look at like if there's a cheaper option or the expensive option, and then you like weigh it up. Like, will this one last me longer because it's more expensive or does it do the exact same function as this cheaper one? <laughs> and you just look into it all like that, don't you? Yeah, like yeah, I do. So yeah. you have a whole list of like, okay, this is what's good. This will last me this long. This is what is good about it. This is what's bad about it. Yeah. And that was just my purchasing story, so that, that was like in the morning. Then like come the evening, I was thinking about roots and everything. And then like the cost title just came to me. And I thought, okay, like, don't really know what this is. But as I thought about it and prayed on it, it was like the cost that Jesus had to pay for us yep. and for our sin. Yep. So it just really like, I sat there and I just waited. And then it all just came to me, like Jesus went through so much and yeah. paid the price for our sin. But yeah, yeah, yeah. If, it, if he was like us in the human mindset, he'd be yeah. like, mm, is it worth it? Is there a better alternative that I can do? Like, yeah. but he didn't, he like chose through everything he had to do that you were worth it. Yeah. And I just think that's like really yeah. amazing. It's such like a basic message, but Jesus went for it all. So can you imagine yeah. like pre-creation? He's like sat there thinking, okay, gonna create the earth, this is gonna happen, yeah. that's gonna happen, everyone yeah. is gonna turn away from me, they're gonna sin and all, whatever, but I still want a relationship with you, yeah. like that one person, and it's not just for one yeah. person, but let's just take you for right now. He yeah. sat there and said to God and Holy Spirit, like, I wanna go for all of this for this person, for this one person, even if this is the only yeah. person that comes to know me through all of it, yeah. he is worth yeah. it or she is worth it. And I just yeah. think like that is such an amazing <laughs> message because there was a like pre-Jesus, they obviously sacrificed the lambs and everything. Yeah, yeah. So that was the other alternative. And yeah. we'd still be having to do all of that to have a relationship with God right now. Yeah. If Jesus hadn't have come. So there was an alternative to exactly. like the cheaper option, let's yeah. say. But Jesus knew that he had to die on that cross for us because the price for our sins yeah. was more than just what was already in place. Yeah. Um, so I just, yeah, it's a real like, sort of basic key message, I guess, but yeah. such a powerful one that like through all things, like you are worth dying for. Yeah, and just, definitely. 
I know a lot of us struggle with our self-worth and how we see ourselves, but Jesus saw you as worth dying for. So if all things are going wrong or if everything feels a bit dark and a bit weird, like yeah. you're worth dying for. So mm -hmm. isn't that such an amazing thing exactly. to keep in your brain? Like yeah. you didn't have to do it. Like there was a system no. in place that worked for the four, yeah. and, but he yeah. chose like that choice to yeah. be like, no, I want to die for that person so yeah. that they can come to know me yeah. and dying for our sins. Yeah. It's just a crazy powerful yeah. message. And put it put it into perspective. Um, I don't know about you, but I think when you find out people have been talking behind your back, that's bad enough. But imagine when they do it right right in front of you. Yeah. Um, this is Jesus on the cross and people are like well if he can save others why can't he save himself yeah and people are piercing his side and people are they're <laughs> they're doing like rolling dice for who gets his his um his clothes and, and stuff like that and you're like right how many people really have to face that much persecution in your face yeah and are still like no i'll still die for you yeah, I'll still do it. Yeah, I'll still do it. Yeah. Knowing that, knowing that they're going to turn against you, knowing that they hate you for it. And then the worst thing for me, the worst part about it is that after he died, uh, a centurion is like, oh, he really was the son of God. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Like, yeah. are you mad? Like, <laughs> and it's like, it's only when he dies and they see the darkness that falls on the earth yeah. and the torn veils. And, and all the miracles that happened, like people were raised from the dead when yeah. Jesus was on the cross. People were healed. And, and you see all that and you're like, wow. So when he was doing all those miracles and you hated him for it, you hated him for doing God's work, for healing people, for being there for people. And then when he goes, that's when you're like, oh, uh, oh, he was. We were wrong. Yeah, yeah. Oops. 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 Oops, he was the son of God. Yeah. And it's like, I, I don't know, if I knew what was gonna happen, I don't know if I'd be able to go through with it. No. I don't I don't think many people, I don't think anyone, human, would be able no. to go through with it. No. But he wasn't just human, he was God, so. Yeah. Um, like Ty said, you're so loved, honestly. So whenever you, whenever you think of yourself as not worth it, just think of that. Just yeah. think the fact that he got spat at, he had to walk miles with that thing on him, and it's not light. <laughs> that no. cross was not light. Having a, cr a crown of thorns on his head, bleeding, probably bleeding like blood going through his eyes. I'm sorry, it's a bit graphic, but <laughs> like probably saw some of the most excruciating pain he's ever been through. Yeah. For you. Yeah. So. <laughs> There is, there is no, I'm not worth it. It's no. not true. It is not true. You're so worth it, whatever you're going through right now. He's like right there, like that's my, that's my child. That's yeah. my girl, that's my boy. You know, he's, he's cheering you on and he loves you. And he wouldn't do all that if he didn't, so. No, I think what really hit me, like, you know, we were reading that devotional about um, yeah. Jesus the other week, last week. Yeah. And it says about like obviously Jesus being fully God and fully human, but yeah, like yeah. how Jesus would have felt the same emotions that we feel, and yeah, like yeah. he put himself in a place that he could feel sadness, he could feel pain, yeah. Yeah. he could feel like joy and happiness, like he felt the same emotions that we feel. So yeah. when we feel rejected, like he felt that rejection. Yeah, exactly. And I think that like even though I know it, reading it recently has really like brought it back to me in a different yeah. light. So yeah, I was yeah. I was listening or. I was listening to my Bible out here today and it was reading yeah. like Matthew to me. Yeah. Because I didn't want to read it, so I listened to it instead. Um, but I was reading, like listening about like the crucifixion and all that. Yeah. And it was like, literally the emotions and like the things that he had to go through. Yeah. Yeah, he would have felt that. Yeah. Like, because exactly. I didn't know like if my, like, just never thought of it in that way before, but you almost think like, oh yeah, he just it's, is what it is. Like, yeah. he just went through it. Like he actually felt all the emotions that we feel yeah, yeah, yeah. and still went through it so yeah. i think that really like it made me really emotional last night when i was yeah. listening to it yeah because i was just like i know how when i feel rejected or when i feel yeah. sad 
like how that affects me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how much more Jesus felt through all that, yeah. but still knowing that he wanted to do it because we're worth it. Yeah. Like, exactly. it's such a crazy thing yeah, to get your brain around. So if you think about all the emotions that you feel, yeah, yeah. Jesus had them same feelings. And some. <laughs> so yeah. it's just such a yeah. amazing picture when you really think about it, that yeah. Yeah. that love must have been so overwhelming, like, yeah, yeah. that you hold on to that love rather than the pain. Yeah. Like, the exactly. love that I'm going to get through this or the love that I have for them because of this, Yeah. that's the thing that overrides yeah. the the pain that he's yeah, going to go through exactly. which is just yeah. can you imagine that love that he has of course, like, it's, in that? it's unreal and, and you guys have a disadvantage to an extent that um, you you probably have friends around you or people around you that to some extent don't understand why you believe what you believe and that is a cost in itself that's a cost and not having certain friends that you would normally hang around with but you know are not a good influence. That's There's a cost in that, you know? But it's an even greater cost to not live for Christ because now those people never get to see Jesus in you. And sometimes, you know, that's the price to pay. It's like saying, oh, I'm willing to get their hate so, so they can I can show the love. Yeah. And love will always win. Always. Nice. Always win. Um, Love always wins. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it does. So I love the cost, the price he paid, because we were supposed to pay it. Yeah. But he took that on and he was like, I'll pay your mortgage. I'll do it. All right? Yeah. Because you can't do it. No. 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 <laughs> it's all because you're worth it. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> It's because you're worth it. It's because you're worth it.